Do you think the vest saved your life? It definitely saved my life. Imagine this, pumped full of bullets during an ambush. State Park Ranger Brody Young is simply grateful his department gives him a bulletproof vest as part of his uniform. Now, with the wave of violence against law enforcement lately, you may be surprised at what a KSL investigation found out. David Janovic surveyed police departments really all across Utah to see if they are keeping our officers safe. This is the vest you were wearing the night of the shooting. It's the first time Ranger Brody Young Another entry point, yeah. has shown a reporter There were three rounds. The body armor that saved his life. It was November 2010. Then seeing muzzle flash come at me. An encounter with a man at a trail near Moab. He emptied a magazine of 15 rounds, hitting me with nine. His vest where, stopped yeah, two. You can see where it just about went through. And slowed a third. That bullet in my vertebrae is in about an inch. And I've talked with a lot of different officers, and some aren't given vests. And that's a tragedy. KSL investigators surveyed 30 law enforcement agencies across Utah. I found most require officers to wear a vest and give them one. For safety reasons, agencies like Young's replace vests when the five-year warranty expires. But the Unified Police Department is a glaring exception. It's on the officer then to go and replace that vest. Uh, there is nobody mandating that they have to do it. UPD mandates vests are worn, but it's up to each one of its 430 officers to buy one. And the department does not have a database to track who is wearing an expired vest. There's no list that's provided to the supervisors. One officer filed a complaint over this practice with the Occupational Safety and Health Administration. OSHA did come to our department uh, as a result of a complaint of the bulletproof vest and conducted an investigation. So you believe that body armor is the most important piece of safety gear an officer can wear? Absolutely. Captain John Ortolano oversees training at the Arizona Police Academy and sits on a national committee that sets testing standards for vests. My agency once a year provides a list that says these people are eligible for uh, a new vest. He recommends agencies track vests. But you get out right away and get that vest. I don't wait. And cover the cost of around $1,000. And to me, once every five years, Providing up to $1,000 is a very minor investment in a police officer. I found other agencies like Salt Lake PD. Before any officer has issued the vest, uh, it'll come through our office and we'll record it. Not only provide officers with vests, they track them. So that we can notify them when it does expire so they can go get a new vest. And old vests. They're of really no use to anybody here at the department. Are banned from reuse. We want the officers to feel safe. UPD believes its system is keeping officers safe because each recruit gets $300 toward the purchase of their first vest. And officers? They are given a uniform allowance to help uh, subsidize the cost of that vest. Get $100 a month to spend on their uniform. Well, that's $1,200 a year, but after taxes, it's more like $850. Need to dry clean a contaminated uniform? 15 bucks a week. Need a new shirt? $60. How about a new pair of pants? $80. New pair of boots, $150. New winter coat, $300. And this year, they have to buy new dress uniforms, $700. There's not enough money left over for a new vest. How quickly do, do you anticipate a new policy? After I began asking questions, UPD called a meeting to address its policy. We're evaluating options. Uh, we're taking and looking at a variety of options to change the vest issuance policy. Now promising to work toward providing officers a vest and to create a database to track when they need a new one. We want our officers to be safe. We want them to be protected. So one, they can go home to their families at night, and two, they can answer the calls to go and serve the public. Now, last fall, one of UPD's own officers was saved by his vest when he was shot in the chest area by a suspect. UPD tells me OSHA's investigation into its practices is ongoing, and the department did not give me an exact timeline on when they will change their system, but we'll keep an eye on it and let you know. Okay, great.